Hello, I'm Deanna Nielsen, and I'm studying to be an art teacher. Today, we're going to make our own mini books, and you can come up with your own story and illustrate it for the inside. So I'll show you an example of what that looks like. So here's a little book that I wrote and illustrated as an example of this project. I think it's really fun to do these because you can be really creative and you can be inspired by your favorite books that you've read. And they're really easy and they're a good way to spend some time and be creative. So I'm going to show you how to make the mini book first. So first you take a clean piece of white paper, or you could do a different color if you want. You're going to fold it in half hot dog style. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And make sure you fold it so you can get the crease nice and crisp like that. And now you're going to take it and fold it in half hamburger style. So I'm going to fold it in half so now it kind of just looks almost like a square, not quite. And again, I'm going to make my crease nice and crisp, because now it looks like this. I'm going to fold it in half one more time. So I'm going to go, so I have the crease here, the open part here. So I'm going to fold them in towards each other. Make the crease as crisp as you can. This one's a little harder. Now it kind of looks like a little book, but not quite yet. So you're going to unfold the piece of paper. So now you should have eight little boxes, little rectangles. And so now we need to cut part of it so that you can fold it into the book. So I'm going to fold it in half. So just like this, you can see there's one, two, three, four boxes. That's the way it should look. If you don't have four boxes, you need to fold it the other way. Okay, so now find out where your crease is. Mine's right here, opens on the other end. So go to your crease. And you can see there is a fold here going from the crease to the middle. We are going to cut this fold, nothing else, just right here. And remember, if you need it, to grab an adult to help you with this part. Okay, so now I've cut from the crease to the middle. Now I'm going to unfold my piece of paper. So now it should have a slash just in the middle. I'm going to fold it in half like a hot dog. So that looks like this. I'm going to bend it so you can see a diamond shape coming. Push it flat. And then now that you have it flat, you're going to push it into the shape of a book. I think I want to put it this way. So now you have a little book. It's got a cover and some inside pages. And you'll see that there is a little separation in the pages. If that bothers you, you can glue them shut. And that's what I did with this one. If it doesn't bother you, then you can just leave it the way it is. So now you have a little book. And so you want to plan out, before you start coloring in it, you want to plan out your story. And so first you want to figure out how many pages you have. So here I have a cover. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a back page. You can use that as a back cover or part of your book. So you have a cover, six pages, and then one more page that you can use how you want. And so the way I suggest planning out your story is drawing different boxes on a piece of paper. So you have the right amount of boxes that you have in your book. And then coming up with a story idea. So my idea is about a yodeling cat. Come up with your own creative idea and plan it out here on your scratch sheet of paper. And so plan out each page, what it's going to say and what it's going to look like. That's my suggestion. If you want to just go for it and not plan it out, that's fine too. The things I suggest as you work on this is just be creative. Think of a really fun, entertaining short story that'll make you laugh, make you smile, and then think about colors. What looks good together? What will stand out against each other? You want to make your main characters stand out from the background and things like that. And so those are some things to think about as you make your little stories. So once you have your story planned and your colors picked, you can start coloring. I use colored pencil for this. You can use markers, pen, pencil, paint. You can use crayons, anything like that. Anything that will stay pretty well. And if it's paint, make sure you let it dry before you do the next page. It's my only suggestion there. But you can use any medium you want. And you can use people. You can use animals. You can come up with an alien creature. Anything like that. So I hope you get creative and come up with your own book. I love reading. I love children's books. And I hope you guys do too. The library is a wonderful place to visit. 
And sometimes it's fun to come up with your own books. And who knows, maybe someday you'll make your own books that'll be in libraries across the world. I hope you have enjoyed this project and have a wonderful day.